Hi guys. Mark here with Walter's World, and we're in Anoia, Greece, just outside of Sparta. And today's video is basically just a little tourist tips about coming to Sparta and Anoia and Mistras which are all kind of all linked together. Now, you know Sparta if you saw the movie 300 or you just know the Spartans. This is where they're from. Okay, now the problem is when you come to Sparta, the town, or Sparty, there's not much left to see. The town was left in ruins. It's actually relatively new, so when you get to actually Sparta, the town, it's more of a modern grid system street. But there are still some stuff to see. Now, the first thing you got to do when you're here is Go by the soccer stadium and get a picture with King Leonidas with his Spartan helmet on and his sword up and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's, it's like you have to do it when you come here. It's one of those things. Now, you have the King Leonidas sta uh, statue by the stadium. Behind the stadium, um, the, uh, the Acropolis ruins, you know, there's the theater, there's some other buildings there, but it is really, there are ruins, and it's not been kept up very well due to some monetary constraints, so a lot of it is overgrown. So you're not going to see too much, but you can walk around, get into it. I mean, it's free access to walk in, very easy to get to, and it does let you get up close and personal with the ruins that are there. Okay, now, next thing you want to do when you're in Sparta, there's, well, they've taken, there's a nice little archaeological museum, I mean, it's a small one, I mean, they, they want to get a new one here, but we'll see how when, that, when that happens, but right now they have a nice little small archaeological museum with finds from around the area, well worth checking out, all the typical, you know, Greek relics kind of stuff you want to see, and then the last thing I want to recommend about it when you come in here, well, there's a few other little sanctuaries to check out, but what I like is actually they have a museum on the olive and olive oil, and it's shows how olive oil is produced, the olive trade, and all these things in the area. It's a relatively new museum, and it's done very well. Wonderful explanations in English. You can try to press your olives and walk around and all this stuff. I mean, it's kind of cool. And if you come to Greece, you'll start to appreciate the olive more because, I mean, behind me, you have olive trees. I mean, you'll see olive trees everywhere, olives on all the tables, olive oil with everything you eat. And it's just kind of cool to see, check that out. Okay, so that's what you're going to go see in Sparta when you're here. Now, another place you want to go is... Um, is Mistras. Mistras is about five, six kilometers from uh, Sparta. You'll see it if you're from the ruins. You look up towards the west. You'll see the ruins up on a hill. Now, Mistras is, which what's kind of cool about this is when we come to Greece, we always expect to see ancient Greek ruins, right? You know, like the Acropolis, like you know, the theaters and things like that. Mistras is actually a Byzantine. Okay, it's from the 1200s, 1300s. Well, and pass, okay? It was, uh, I mean, it was basically the, the head of the area, of the Byzantine Empire. It was a very important city. Uh, what's cool about it is the city is divided up into three parts. There's the big fortress on the top, and there's the upper town and lower town with churches and buildings still up. I mean, the city kind of went into ruin for a while, but it was re it's been rebuilt, redone. I think there's still even some nuns living there. It is a very cool day trip from Sparta. If you have your own car, it's easy to go to, but you can take buses from here in Sparty to, to get there. Um, it is very nice to check out. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site for the past, I mean, it was like the late 80s they got that. But you go there, oh here, I'll show you, I think I have. Here. I don't know if you can see the picture. Very cool, the Byzantine stuff. So you can see some Byzantine ar architecture and all kinds of things. I mean, it is a really, really cool thing to check out. Start at the top and walk your way down. Because if you come to the bottom part, it's just walking uphill the entire way. And if you're carrying a baby on front of you and a four-year-old in this arm, <laughs> it gets a little tough, okay? So check out Mistras when you're in Sparta. And then the third place I'm going to put in our little little thing here is with Sparta. There's the port of Sparta, of ancient Sparta, which is Ethiop, which is about half an hour drive south of Sparta. For half hour, 40 minutes drive. Beautiful, beautiful seaside town, nice. Oh, I, I have another little postcard. I don't know if you can see it, it comes up on here. I'll try to put some other pictures in. Now, at Ethio, you go there, I mean, you, you walk, basically what you want to do is walk along the waterfront. The water is crystal clear. You look at the boats, you can see the boat all the way to the bottom. Okay, it is just beautiful. Just walking along it at night with the, with the lit up, it's just beautiful. Okay, I know I say beautiful a lot, but it is. When you go there, there's a couple things you can check out. Um, there's a little ancient Acropolis there, but it is overgrown, just like here in Sparta, but you can you know, see it if you want to see the ancient ruins. Um, also, there's a museum of Mani, which is a museum of the area, but from the perspective of travelers. 
from the 1500s to the 1900s. So it's kind of like a different kind of perspective. Instead of us talking about ourselves, it's other people talking about us. Okay? So that's kind of cool. And then, of course, when you're there, there's also the beaches. Okay? A little bit out of town, you can go check out the beaches, get some sun to get rid of your pasty white skin like mine, or get, you know, a nice olive tan, whatever. Okay? Now, Getting to Sparta and all these things, if you're going to be coming from Athens, you basically you have to go to the, the bus station in Athens, it's your only option, you go there, you take it, it's about a three hour, three hour, three and a half hour bus ride from Athens to Sparta. Now from Sparta, again, it's only like a 20 minute, half hour bus ride from Sparta to Mistras, but it's only like five or six kilometers, so it's a very easy drive to get there. Um, Ethiopia, there's plenty of buses from, from Sparta there, I think they're like every two hours to Ethiopia another thing to go to. And if you have a car, Sparta's a nice base because you can go from here, you can go to Mistras, you can go to Ethio, you can go down to Monavasia, you know, kind of a base for Peloponnese. And it's a nice little town. Okay? So, I hope that helps you, give you an idea of what you should do in Sparta, Mistras, and Ethio when you're coming to the Peloponnese in Greece. If you want to learn more about going to Greece or Italy or Portugal or Brazil or the U.S., learn languages, all kinds of stuff, check out our website, www.waltersworld.com. Bye.